We've all heard of the infamous Halo Battle Royale. Playable Brutes. Yo, no, why is it? Oh, cut it, cut, cut. And our Lord and Savior, Joseph Staten, talking about the next evolution. evolution of Halo's multiplayer. But did the newest tie-in book, Halo the Rubicon Protocol, hint at how we might see it play out on a seasonal level? I think it did. Stick around till after the message to find out how. This video is brought to you by Audible Plus. Be sure to click the link in the description to try Audible Plus and get Halo the Rubicon Protocol free with your Audible Plus free trial. What's going on everybody? My name's Daniel M47 and today we're talking about the Rubicon Protocol again. Uh, I see a lot of you are getting into it and seeing as I myself enjoyed it so much, I just I could not stop thinking about this book. And that's how we got where we are today. Now I hear what you're saying. Daniel, how does this book have anything to do with a battle royale? The only BR Halo needs is the battle rifle. Well, good chap, I'll tell you. Spoiler warning for anybody that hasn't finished the book, uh, so turn away now if you haven't. Cool, now that they're gone. Uh, at the end of the book, a group of Spartans managed to send out an SOS signal to the rest of humanity using a beam tower. Now, you wouldn't know that from playing the campaign, because this actually takes place before, but what this means is literally at any time, assuming they aren't somewhere crazy that the UNSC can't get to them, forces could be showing up to help them out. If you didn't know, a while back we had some leaked talks going around about how this battle royale mode would be made by certain affinity, or is being made by certain affinity, we don't, we don't know, um, and that it would be more like a PvPVE, so kind of like Warzone, involving banished forces as well. But if you're anything like me, I, I kind of had a hard time imagining what this would look like, because we've never really seen anything like it in Halo, and the scale of it all was kind of making me go mad. Assuming this mode, you know, stays canon, like 343 tries to do with all of their multiplayer matches taking place in a simulator or on some base or something like that, uh, I'm, I'm willing to bet that we're going to see the season that this mode launches with be focusing around reinforcing the Chief and the Infinity. That setting would fit more than perfectly, but thinking a lot about this really does get my head spinning. We know this mode is supposed to have Falcons, which to me means that this map is going to be much larger than any of the BTB maps we have now if we're not getting multiples. I don't even know. But if you're having a hard time imagining this like me, uh, the best way I've come to think of it is a mix of two game modes, which are Capital Supremacy from EA's Battlefront 2 and Hazard Zone from Battlefield 2042. Now I know like 90% of you probably haven't played that one. Don't worry, it's a pretty decent concept, but you might just want to look into it a little bit. But with the way things are looking now, I'm, I'm conflicted between saying this is the battle royale mode people keep talking about and i i'm leaning more towards the fact that it's actually a different mode because when joseph staten was on talking about the evolution of halo's multiplayer it seemed like something completely different than a br just the way he was describing it and that might just be marketing talk so it could very well be the br but to me it sounded like something different like how we got firefight as a new game mode that was supposed to revolutionize halo you know that was what warzone was supposed to do but maybe they're the same i don't know they might just be wanting to keep us on our toes either way though every time i think about it it gets me super hyped for the future of halo infinite i think we all know the potential that halo infinite could live up to and we've all been extremely patient with 343 so i want to congratulate everyone on coming this far with the rest of the community i know it hasn't been easy <laughs> trust me you just have a look at my channel the past couple months and you can tell how not easy it has been but hopefully with the release of forge it can breed some very needed new life into the game and maybe we can make some mock-up ideas of just you know this mode that we're talking about here and in any case i hope this video is entertaining to you all and if it was i'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription if you haven't already it really does mean a lot to me i'll have another video soon about how this book made me think we need a spartan op sequel but until then guys i'll see you all in the next video be sure to check the description for that audible plus free trial link and i will see you all later